Sunday, uh, February 27th, was a catastrophic day for uh, the West Texas uh, region of the state. We had 20 major fires that occurred uh, on an axis from Amarillo to Ozona and then from Midland east to Matador. Uh, it's a footprint of about 45,000 square miles. And the rates of spread of the fires were 45 miles an hour. Uh, that's a fire burning a football field every minute. Of 80 homes burned and uh, hundreds of Texas families evacuated. And it looks like to us uh, it'll probably go through March into April. The thing that concerns us so much is that the fuels are drying out. Wildfires in rural communities and wildfires on rangeland, the environment remains to be there after we've had the, the fuel growth or the grass growth and the drying down of those resources that are on the land. All that's missing is that wind and a spark. Uh, this is really uh, a tough uh, fire scene to uh, suppress because the fire becomes three-dimensional instead of just two-dimensional. It's very, very dangerous uh, for firefighters and citizens. All of the state is at risk of having uh, fires, uh, with the exception of probably northeast Texas. Reduce that possibility of ever a spark becoming a fire. Okay. So I think until the spring rains come, the citizens of Texas need to be prepared for, for fires.